Man, oh man, it's a freaking belter today. Look how beautiful and clean our ancient compartment is. Oh, ah, good. So it was seized. So we started grinding. I was just marked out where we we're gonna grind. We're about halfway there now. Christmas yeah. for Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Exodus. She was old and neglected, so we cut her to bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat, and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. First things first, get grab before you attempt to lower down your engine. Then allow the operation get the engine down to commence. If that fails, go take a nap. All the thinking made everyone tired, so lunchtime came and everyone went to take a nap and dream of the lovely time when our engine finally would be on the ground. Man, oh man, it's a freaking belter today. It is so damn hot. That's why I'm so pink. Ricky and Glenn are at the moment trying to get our pillow off but it seems like it's seized up or corroded inside or whatever so they're gonna go figure out how to get that out. Moses and Gray are busy polishing up our stainless steel davit. It's taken us a while to get that engine out. Um, the engine itself is out now but we need to get a crane in to come and pull it out. It was awesome having Glenn and Gray here helping us out. Um, made my life a lot easier. <laughs> I'll take you to go see what the men are up to. Here's our engine. Ready to get taken out. Look how beautiful and clean our engine compartment is. <laughs> it's super gross. So yeah, we're gonna do some carpet fixing and uh, fiberglass and side chaff. Put a proper hatch to look through and inspect and then she'll look good. Stella Moses! Hello! Leg it moy! Can you can you yourself see Moses? Blanke! Moy boy! There's grey. <laughs> How's it going? It's happening. So they're taking out all the unnecessary shit on this thing. And then we're gonna send it to the sandboxing on Monday. Look good as new. Should look good as new. We've got everything back together, yeah? With the prop off. The prop cone was seized. Oh, good. So it was seized. Yeah. So it wasn't. No, I see. He didn't have. Yeah, they didn't put some grease in it to hold it on. I um, mean, not to hold it on to, to keep it lubricated, so that was seized on. We had to heat it up with a torch and it came off. The prop's in good shape, but we're going to send it for sandblasting too. This is the old water intakes. We're not using that anymore. We've got a direct cooling system. So we'll fill that up with epoxy, fill this up with epoxy. We'll send all these parts for sandblasting. A lot of corrosion everywhere show you guys how terrible this looks. So the corrosion got underneath the paint. But, they didn't um, put epoxy or... Anything. They didn't put epoxy primer. But the, once the sandblasting is done, this will look very new. And like, this used to be an old water jacket that we don't use anymore. Once they've sandblasted it, I'll fill it up full of epoxy and I'll grind it off nicely and fair it down. Look like just the plugged area. It'll look very neat grease this up. So there's our steering mechanism. You can see it doesn't even turn. So it's super stiff. So we'll get that nicely greased up. Must turn like two fingers. 
And this is our new GoPro. And I think I can tell you, this actually came from one of our patrons in the US. And I want to say thank you, thank you so much to you and your family. We really appreciate it. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. I say big, big thank you. Thank you so much. It's going to help us out so much. And uh, yeah, we're super thankful for it. We've been wanting one for a while. A whole year, yeah. to be exact. <laughs> but they're just, they're quite frosty in South Africa. So. But they're so cool. Can I shoot with this one too? So... So what? What's in that box, Ricky? You guys will have to stay tuned to the end of the episode for us to tell you what's in the box. But I guarantee it's going to be good. So we've got the car back and um, everything's going well. Except uh, when Glenn and Gray were here, I might have dropped the keys in the ocean. And it wasn't the keys that were problems, they mobilized or the central locking. So now I've got extra good manners. I've got to open the door every time for my wife. So we're in the car, getting ready to go to work. So I'm drinking my, my high dosages of vitamin C, D to keep me going through the day because it's the end of the year and you know your energies are low at the end of the year. So this is what the engine bay looks like at the moment. If you look at it from here, we've got that hole over there and I want to close all of this with fiberglass. All of that's going to get closed up, it's going to be solid. And that stays open, that's where the leg drive comes through. This hole over here, that's going to get closed up. All the unnecessary holes on that side will get closed up and uh, on the inside we'll grind all of this out. Up top, everywhere, close whatever hole needs to be closed. There's a hole over there that's going to get closed. That patch is going to get grinded down and fiberglassed over a whole number of layers. There's a hole up top there and that's the last thing you want because that goes into one of the cabinets in the aft cabin. Air intake is from here, so it's actually a hole up top there. Breathes in air through there, goes in through there. There's a hole in the back, a nice big hole in the back side. So get this all cleaned out and then a fresh coat of pool coat all over. Get a nice, it'll look brand brand new. I kind of feared that this thing would be loose. And that's why we're taking it out. We're gonna grind all of this down and we're gonna glass right over all of this. So that will become one unit. We'll fill it up with material. There's a drain hole over there and a drain hole over here. Uh, I'll probably keep those in. I don't know. We'll see about that. But the rest of the fiberglass, everything really strong. For the most part, the wood still feels pretty solid. So we started grinding, I was just marked out where we we're gonna grind. We're about halfway there now. So everything's been removed. Stainless steel frames on the floor there. We're about halfway there. We still need to clean out all this edge. See that edge there is damaged with fiberglass. That's the wood base where the stainless steel bolts that hold the frame on are still in. I'm gonna leave it in, it will be out of the core. But what I'm gonna do is cover it eight layers of glass over that to seal it off completely. And at the bottom you can see this gap here. See where my finger's going in there? We're gonna fill all of that up with um, bonding paste. So it'll be bonding paste in there. And I'll just use the, the, the wood as a core just to form the shape. And then the fiberglass will just layer and layer and layer. And I'll run a nice fillet right around there to make it super nice and rounded edges as opposed to what it is now lifted. And what that will allow is even if this floods full of water, nothing will get to the wood. So that'll be great. I don't know if you remember when we did, on one of our other episodes, we did some core filling. So there's big holes that people just cut everywhere. So on the inside, we've glassed it up on the inside, super smooth. And here on the outside, now that we've grinded down, we'll just gloss over that, put a couple of layers of gloss. And then on top of that, we'll put the insulation, which will reduce the, the sound even more. We'll insulate the whole box. There's a pre, the, the new floor that we actually built in the beginning of our episodes. So check that out, one of our very first episodes when we built that floor. Yeah, 
it's gonna look good when it's done you'll see it looks pretty bad now and and nasty and moldy and all of that but once everything's done see that piece of wood we've cleaned up real good uh, with the grinder with the flapper disc you want to get it give it a nice bite that things can hold on nicely that one we still need to clean still need to clean this one but um once you're done it's gonna be sweet I started with varnishing our cabinetry doors, but let's just say the boat wasn't big enough for this task. I decided it was a good idea to get all our cabinetry doors and then bring them to our garage and then varnish them because I can't do it on the boat because there's not enough space and I can't do it outside of the boat because in PE the wind blows like crazy so there's all these dust particles or dirt particles on the doors. So I said bring them home and I'll stay in them here in the garage and I can stack them up on the side of the walls and then it'll be fine. So it's Saturday, we're done for the day. Um, it's around about, I think quarter to four now. And we're packing up. Uh, we've got a little surprise for Moses. We got him a little Christmas present and a bit of bonus. And so yeah, let's get down to it and get a time of giving surprises. So let's go do it. Hopefully all of you guys are having an awesome Christmas and all the best for the new year. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It helps us a lot and we appreciate it. Surprising Moses for Christmas with the bicycle because he wants one, but he's got stolen, I think. So, yeah, I'm waiting for Ricky to let me know so I can open the garage and surprise him. So, Moses, what's okay for Christmas? Soup please, soup, soup wine. Yeah? And then take some of it, some of me for. Yeah? Plenty. And what does that Anna do that you have fried as I, as I glow, I can't do it? Ik zoek een bicycle. Die bicycle? Ja, ze blijft man. Die bicycle. Kijk, wat, wat gaan aan daar zo? Wat houdt ze in Wat is dat? Is Christmas voor Moses? Ja. Yeah, Ik serieus, dat is voor jou Moos. Ja. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Ja, yeah, Merry Christmas. Ja, 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 ja. Check hem, gaan we rijden. Ja, 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 ja. Het is een groot surprise, oh. nee Moos? Oh, ja, groot surprise. Ja. Doet je bicycle, Moos? Ja, bye, bye, thank you. Ja. Oh, you made me cry. Oh, shit. Oh, my. You know what he tells me? When you leave, you must buy me a bicycle. Did he say that? Yeah. And I say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moses ain't coming back. <laughs> say like a boat. Awesome, Moses. You must not know your other time to follow me. <laughs> so Moses thinks his Christmas surprise is over and in actual fact it's only the beginning. Another thing Moses asks is that he wants to have a big party for, his, for Christmas at his house. So me and Simone are going to buy him all the groceries for his Christmas. And it's not that we want to just kind of give or make something about it, but it's Moses has helped us out so much and he's probably one of the most hardworking guys I've ever met and willing to work. Um, so another thing we also want to peel out is if there's anyone out in the PE vicinity that would like to employ Moses once we're done with the boat um, we'd love to get him a good job before we leave and so yeah share this message let it get around um, anyone that's looking for someone to help out this is the right guy man so trustworthy honest helpful willing to work he's freaking awesome so let's make Moses Christmas special
Of course, we had to get Moses a box of Ricky's favorite cereal. And we got Moses' son some Christmas presents as well. Ik moet zeggen, baie dankie nie, dit ons baie geld per jaar. Oh, baie dankie nie. So is my coole bonus vir jou. Baie dankie nie, baie dankie. Ga lekker cash wees wees, never. Jy wil lekker. Are you guys ready to see what's, what's in it? You ready? Are you sure? Are you sure? So, let's check what's in here. Ooh, some sponges. And another one, and another one, and da 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 da. Boop boop. Ooh wee, sweet. Da da. Man oh man. Why did James put baby rings on for us? Because we're a baby. Yep, we're not allowed to touch the insides. For warranty reasons, because they give you such a badass warranty on it, but uh, so that people don't fiddle. So we've got our comms ports, which will go up to if we want to plug into our laptop. It plugs into our Victron, our Victron, and um, then we can wirelessly talk to that and see what our batteries are doing. But cool. So there's positive and negative, we're just going to move those thingies off. So there she is. 150 amp, I think 156. 156 or 160 amp hours each one. And we've got two of them. And that's pretty much what's gonna power our whole boat. If you would like to support our production, go check out our awesome coins on SV Seekers page. A link is in our description below. Stay tuned till next week where we prep and fiberglass our engine compartment. Hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. If you'd like to join our amazing patron family, a link is in the description below. Thanks to our awesome new patron, Bertie B.